Hey all here, OS Reviews. So MIUI 10 was announced some time back, but only recently Xiaomi started releasing the over-the-air updates to previous phones, including the Redmi 6 series, the Redmi 5 series, and the Note 5 and Note 5 Pro. So today we're taking a closer look at what's new in terms of the features and the aesthetic differences. This particular phone is the Redmi 5 Plus, so it's very similar to the Note 5. Uh, it features a Snapdragon 625 and originally was released with Android 7.0 Nougat. But through the MIUI 10 update, it's been upgraded to Android 8.1 Oreo at last. So again, it is running on Oreo. If we tap on this for a few times, we can see that the system, the Android OS, has been upgraded. Now, the biggest change in terms of uh, MIUI 10 is definitely the gesture navigation system. It's designed for the taller aspect ratio of phones, which now employ 18 by 9, and the industry is adopting a kind of bezel-less trend. And to really capitalize on that, they want to get rid of the physical keys on the bottom of the phone. So you can now swipe up from the bottom chin to basically exit out. It's a gesture that was first used on the WebOS phones designed by Palm back in the day. It's also been used on the newer iOS and of course on Android 9 Pie it is supported right out of the box from the bottom chin to exit out of any application. And afterwards, I can hold for a few seconds to bring up my card of all currently open apps, and I can exit out of these by swiping over to the edge. So for instance, swiping over to the left or swiping to the right will both exit out of these respective applications. And I can also long hold on a specific app to bring up additional menus, whether I want to lock this app so I can prevent it from being removed if I just tap on clear all. And furthermore, I can also have access to things like a split screen for multitasking. In terms of going back, however, you have gestures on the left and right edges of the display. So for instance, if I want to exit one page behind, I can swipe over from the edge here until we see that gesture. And the same thing goes on the right side. I can just swipe like that to go to the previous page. Overall, it's pretty elegant and works quite well. Another interesting thing about MIUI 10 is I can also use the edges to switch back and forth between other applications. So for instance, I can swipe and then long hold for a second to open up the past application that I was in. So for instance, settings, this will now toggle me into settings and I can also swipe again to toggle back into the camera. Visual changes include the track down notification tray, which you can see the icons are round and they're blue in terms of their accent, pretty similar to stock Android 9.0 Pie that we just saw a few days ago. So it still gives us access to the same amount of uh, kind of details, such as Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth that we can turn on and off, but uh, the icons are definitely slightly more attractive looking. And there's also a bar now that you can swipe on to change the brightness level of the display, which is uh, pretty seamless. Uh, we also have notifications shown below that we can actually tap on to take a closer look at uh, additional lines and details. Same thing goes with emails and text messages. I can just tap on it directly to read the details without opening up the entire app, and I can also reply to some messages in certain cases. You can still bring back the buttons by tapping on the side here uh, under settings, and now we have the controls back again. And this may be useful to some because you can't access the one-handed mode if you have a full gesture-based system because you don't get the controls anymore. But if you bring these back, you can still access this feature by swiping on the edge to get a smaller screen for maybe those with uh, slightly smaller hands. We can also swipe from the bottom up to have access to Google Assistant. So a lot of gestures which are taking advantage of this uh, kind of... Uh, longer aspect ratio of the device. And visual changes to some of the system apps, most notably the clock app, which has now ha which now employs a very dark theme. So the background is completely black and we just have some white text for things like the time. We still have access to the same features, however, it's just, again, the UI has been overhauled. Uh, in terms of the timer, though, we do have other sounds which have been built in now. These are kind of like soothing sounds uh, that are similar to white noise that you may get uh, to help you fall asleep a little faster, so that's kind of interesting. So for instance, that's a forest, this is summer night. Here's the beach. Drizzle. And the stove fire. With that being said, not all the apps have been upgraded. So for instance, if you take a look at the recorder, you can still see kind of a theme and color as well as background that's very similar to MIUI 9. So there is still a bit of a clash in some apps in terms of their visual design uh, that isn't quite the new MIUI 10, which is that dark theme, versus what we saw before. The weather app also has some slight improvements in terms of making the UI feel a little bit more modern and sleek. 
In the Notes app, we can now record voice memos directly, so that's pretty cool. The sound recorder is basically built right on into the Notepad now, right on that main page, which we can play back as well as integrate into pre-existing notes. And since we are running on Android Oreo, we finally have access to native picture-in-picture. -picture. So I can, for instance, minimize from this YouTube app, and it still remains playing in the background here. And I can do other things like check my email, browse the web, and also move this small uh, window around. So again, this is a nice new addition that uh, allows me to multitask uh, with better efficiency. And these aesthetic differences aside, Xiaomi has also promised a few kind of internal system-based improvements, such as using AI algorithms to better improve the performance, making apps supposedly faster to load and quicker to launch. We have to, of course, do more testing and using to uh, see if those claims are true in the long run, but overall it does seem to still be a very snappy experience here on first impressions. And so that's pretty much it as far as all kind of the new additions are concerned when it comes to MIUI 10 compared to past iterations of MIUI. With all things considered, I like it a lot and I think that it's a nice upgrade to MIUI 9 just because it brings features like picture-in-picture -picture, in addition to that very sleek gesture-based navigational system if you want to use it uh, that uh, makes it feel more seamless and expands the entire display to give you a more immersive using experience. So you can check out more details about MIUI 10 as well as Xiaomi's products in the links down below but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.